In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a cybersecurity guideline slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added one image of a cybersecurity as a background. And when I click, it will show the lock with the kind of a shield. And when I click, it will show you the first option, which says take care of opening emails, then check website URL, use the cloud, install firewall, update Microsoft security and choose a security password so these particular six features i have added if you want you can increase or decrease it and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose this uh, triangle draw or triangle in the center shape outline you can make it no outline then align center align middle and then i'm going to rotate it flip vertical okay then right mouse click edit points and i'm just going to drag this from one side you can see here like this and from here i'm going to exactly in the center i'm bringing the mouse and right mouse click and say add pound point sorry and then i'm just going to drag it up all right you can see here i'm dragging up and then i'm just making it something like this and here also let me just make like this so i end up getting a shape which looks like this so don't worry about the left side so left side i'm going to cut that one for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering the the left part then select this shape hold the shift key select the blue one merge shape and subtract now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then i'm going to make it a flip horizontal and attach it and make sure it is properly attached and select both the shapes merge shapes i'm going to make it as a union and then i'm going to make it as an outline okay any color later on we can change and shape fill i'm going to make it as a no fill so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this all right now the next thing which i'm going to do is go to insert shapes i'm going to select a rectangle draw the rectangle covering the whole slide shape outline make it no outline right mouse click go to the format shape and select the picture or texture fill here i have already selected this image let me just can you see here or you can just go to click insert and you can say from a file or you can say online pictures from a file means if you already have a image on your local pc you can select this option or you can go to the online pictures and you can just type uh, the keyword so i'm going to type for example say cyber security you can see here this image i have selected that one okay just click insert and then this image will be inserted all right now i'm going to send this to back and i'm going to make it somewhat transparent okay maybe this much transparent maybe 50 percent okay and then i'm going to insert one more rectangle again covering the whole slide shape outline make it no outline i'm going to give a gradient fill now gradient fill i'm going to use two colors you can see here one is dark blue another is a dark teal color okay and then the direction i'm going to change it which is the linear right where the darker is this side now i'm going to select the color which is light or you can just choose any color depending on the requirement and select this color light and make it transparent you can see here again if you want you can add one more stop all right and you can make it like this also if you want you can make it somewhat transparent okay so we got this per thing now i'm going to send this also to back now this one i'm going to give a gradient fill for this line so instead of fill go to the line and select the gradient line and here i'm going to give uh, three different colors one color i'm going to give it as a white okay the other color i'm going to give as a, a purple okay and then i can just change the direction the way i want okay so here i would like to have like this and here i'm going to make it a blue all right so you can see here i've got white purple and blue and then 
I'm going to increase the width of this one. You can see here I have increased the width to maybe 5.5 and then in center you can go to icons and you can just choose the icon of a lock okay let me just apply it lock kind of thing so i need to just search where it is here it is okay and just click insert and i'm going to make the color as white all right again if you want you can increase the size now the next thing is i'm just i want to give some glow effect here so for go to insert shapes i'm going to give a oval shape draw a oval shape shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give a kind of a blue color tur turquoise color and go to the effects under soft edges increase the size here you can see here all right and then send this to back so i've given some kind of a, a glow effect here so once this is done now we need to add the options you can add the title here i can just say cyber security for example guidelines and this font the color i'm going to use the font open sans semi bold and then i can put it here if you want you can increase the size also you can see here so this is done this part now it's time to add the options so go to in uh, shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw or oval shape again i'm going to give the same color increase the transparency to maybe 50 percent press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size and put it again exactly in the center like this for both the shapes press ctrl g to group it all right now this is one press ctrl d this is my second ctrl d this is my third all right now i can hold the ctrl shift key i can just drag and drop here this one will come here and this one will come here all right maybe i need to just uh, sorry all right so you can see here i need to just align it properly okay so once this is done you can insert the relevant icons so you need to just choose the right icons for this one so you can see here you've got wide variety of icons maybe i can just choose some nice icons but that will take a lot of time for me so i, I can use this flame as a firewall and I can use uh, this one, I can use maybe so many icons, uh, you can just search it, maybe I'm going to use this icon and any icons which we are missing, we can just again go and search and download it, okay, maybe I need a mail icon with an attachment, I need a this particular icon also and let me just click on insert sorry control z bring it here make the height and width as 0.5 and i'm going to give as a white color and then you can just maybe this is for the you can see here this is for the firewall this is for the email this is for the update this is for the password and you can add one more thing so you can see here in this particular example i've given take care of uh, the opening emails uh, website cloud firewall and all those things so all those information you can just type it here so i'm just going to say add detail text here again the same font right align open sans semi bold and then i'm just going to put it here press ctrl d to duplicate ctrl d again ctrl d now this side 
I'm going to make it left align control D again and then that's it and again if you want you can do some a basic animation effect to it <laughs> 